One of the biggest changes to in Route 5 has been with regard to nesting. The nesting has generally improved in terms of its performance and, and ability to fit parts inside the plate, and a lot of new capabilities have been added. In this movie, we're going to just show you a little bit about the changes that have been made with regard to the workflow for nesting and just an introduction to some of the new features. To start off with, one of the things you have to do with the new nesting is the objects that you want to nest need to be outside the sheet before they're selected. Because we can now work with obstructions, anything that's inside the sheet will be considered an obstruction during the nesting process. So we'll move all the objects outside the plate, and I'll come over here, I can go to the transform menu to go to nesting, or I can choose nesting from the toolbar button here to the left. And we'll notice that all these shapes are colored uh, pink, which tell me that there are shapes to be nested outside the plate. Now we have two options over here. We have block nesting, which would really work more for rectangles. And we have true shape nesting or shape nesting, and that's what we're going to use in this case. Uh, we can assign here multiple quantities of any given part. For this example, I'm just going to nest it as one quantity, but uh, there is the capability to go through here and, and to assign multiple quantities of any given part. Uh, we also have uh, a part order so that you can determine which will be nested first, but if they're all given the same priority, then, then uh, that will not be as much of a factor. And you have your gap and your margin. Uh, the gap being the spacing between the parts and the margin, the spacing around the perimeter of the, of the material. Uh, and we see here a few options now. Uh, we have the option of nesting the original shapes or, or creating copies. Uh, in this case, I will nest the original shapes. Um, multiple sheets will allow us to, to nest the, any objects that won't fit on the first sheet onto an additional sheet. Create remnants is one of the new capabilities, and that is actually... Uh, something you can turn on or off here, and it will create a, a part of uh, leftover material that you can then use as a as a new object that you want to nest other shapes into. We now can create a nesting summary, which we'll take a look at here in a minute. And uh, we still have the, the ability to just specify which uh, part of the material we want to focus our nesting to. And I'm going to choose the middle left for here. Our step angle up to one degree. And... Uh, the type of nesting, and now we'll give you three options for the type of nesting you want to choose. We have our standard nesting, which has been considered the advanced nesting in the, the past versions of Enroute. We have new nesting, which was our nesting capability we wrote that would allow us to uh, use obstructions inside the material, and this is the only one that will allow the use of obstructions. And then the legacy nesting, which is from some previous products that are very popular in the garment industry, and it still does a nice job. The legacy nesting would tend to be a little less accurate with regard to the spacing. So uh, in this case, we're just going to use the standard nesting, and then you can choose when you're when you're trying. If, if one's not giving you the results you want, there are a few other options to, to choose from. In this case, we're going to use standard. And uh, these particular shapes, especially these curves, were something that were a bit of a challenge sometimes for us to nest. And if we come here and hit apply, we will see that uh, it does a much nicer job here and, and is able to nest all these parts in here you'll notice that uh, there's some text outside the area, but this text is not being cut. It's just for labeling purposes. And aside from that, it, it does a nice job of fitting all of the parts inside the plate here. So uh, you can see if you were to test this file in some older versions, it doesn't provide quite as efficient as a result. So uh, the nesting has been greatly improved, and there are quite a lot of new functions. And we're going to do some separate movies to show each of those functions individually.